Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. Today we are still talking about ADC. Today we want to talk about a voltage frequency ADC. I'm not going to explain it in detail, but by the basic principle. It's pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. However, uh, you know, we don't... The, the, the real magic is happening inside a thing. I just draw as block here. So actually we have again an input voltage. So here is the input voltage. This is the voltage we want to have a corresponding number. Again I call it UI. And then immediately I am drawing this block I just talked. Yeah? So there, is, there are things where we have a voltage frequency converter. So on one side we have a voltage input, U. On the other side we have a frequency output. The higher the input is, the higher the frequency at the output is. So this is converter. Yeah? So this is a voltage frequency converter. High voltage, high frequency. Low voltage, low frequency. Okay. And then actually, the only thing we have to do is that we have some sort of timer. An end element. We have some sort of timer. Somehow, giving a, a time, yeah, how long the impulses shall be passed here, so the timer, I don't know, given a, a certain time, and then the only thing which is missing that right now is, well, the counter, so this is again, there's again this, this, this part of the counter, So this time we are not counting a different amount of time. This time we are counting the same amount of time given by the timer, but with different frequencies. Okay? If we have high voltage, we will count further because it's a higher frequency. If it's low voltage, we can, we'll, in the same time we will not count that far because it's a low frequency. And then we again have this logic, this, this, this approach of the memory. And the display, maybe, so we have the memory again, the display, and every time this, the timer is stopped, yeah, this will be transferred and is available here with the digital value. So really, yeah. this needs to be controlled somehow. So there is somewhere a control logic. This logic needs to start the timer. This logic needs to reset the counter. This logic needs to trigger the transfer from the counter to the memory. Okay. Control logic. And that's it. This is how this is working. Like I said, real magic is happening here. I draw it as a block. High voltage, high frequency, low voltage, low frequency. And the rest is pretty straightforward. So we're counting a always the same amount of time. So the, 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 the time needed to get a digital value is always the same because we always count the same amount of time. So this is very predictable. That's the benefit of this. 
Next time, we're going to talk about a thing which is really fast, really, really fast. The fastest analog digital converter is direct method, a direct ADC. Yeah? And also the most expensive ones with the most expensive or the most elements, or right? most required elements. Yeah? However, I don't need a counter. Ooh, huh? How this is working, I'm going to explain in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.